to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that you see right here. My everyday go-to makeup look including my brow routine. A lot of you guys have been asking for this specific look and a lot of you guys have also been asking for an eyebrow routine updated and this is just my go-to everyday super simple super easy look and I hope you guys will enjoy. It feels so great to be back. This is my first tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial in like what two years? Hard to believe. And it just feels so good to be back to YouTube and I'm happy about it. If you guys have any comments, requests, suggestions, please leave them down below. Future video ideas, I'm totally down to listen to your suggestions. So please leave them below. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and please subscribe if you have not already to be notified of every new video that comes out. This channel now has vlogs, it has beauty related stuff, it has everything. This is my only channel now. so. This is the channel that you need to be tuned into. So if you guys would like to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Thanks, guys. Okay, I haven't done this in a while, guys. So this is, this is different. It's great to be back. I feel good about it, but it's just like, I hope I'm in focus. I hope I have my camera settings right. It's been a hot minute since your girl has done this. To moisturize my lips, I use the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Lip Balm, and my face is already washed and moisturized. I am breaking out, so it's just not pay attention to that. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows. That's kind of what I've been doing first lately, and I've been loving the Ardell Brow Liberty Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I've been loving this lately. Um, I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply, and... I just love it. First, I'm gonna brush them out. I've been loving um, filling in my eyebrows with the brow pencil versus like dip brow pomade because I just like how it looks more. It's more natural. So basically what I do is I just start underneath the brow, kind of shaping out a line. Very light strokes because we don't want these brows to be harsh. And I'm just going to follow my brow naturally. I'm not gonna like make it bigger, make it smaller. What I have is what God gave me and that's what he wants me to work with. So I'm just gonna follow it down like this and then light feathers through my... Can I talk? I'm, I'm so not used to filming. <laughs> Um, light feathers through the arch area because I kind of am missing some hair. Sometimes when you get your eyebrows threaded, they uh, tend to over thread them. And so I just got to make up for it a little bit. So through the arch, I uh, sometimes tend to go a little heavy handed. But the good thing is you can just brush it out if it gets a little um, more darker than you would like it. You can just brush it on out and it's as easy as that and I just have a double-sided mirror here so I like to check and make sure that it looks good and I'm gonna fill it in a little bit more because it's a little bit sparse in through here and like I said I just like how my brows look when they're filled in with a brow pencil so it's obviously the unfilled it's not filled in, this one is. It's just very um, natural. And that's why I've been kind of enjoying doing that lately. Versus like dip brow. And like when I want aggressive brows, dip brow pomade's awesome. But you know, sometimes we we don't really want that aggressive. So for the face, um, I'm going to prime my face with the Ardell In Her Prime Face Primer Mattifying. I got this at Sally's. And I really, really like this primer a lot. Um, you know, I like to try different products. I don't always end up going to um, Sephora or Ulta all the time. Sometimes it's out of my way. I mean, and if I can get makeup somewhere else and try something new, I will. I don't have to just shop at two stores. Um, so I've tried some new products recently, which I'm going to share with you guys from Sally's that are actually pretty impressive. Um, you know? They were expensive, it wasn't cheap, so, you know, don't think because it's Sally's, it's cheap, because it's not. Um, 
But yeah, I like to do the primer first and let that soak in as I do my eyes. So yeah, this might be a little different from my previous makeup tutorials because I haven't been on here in like, what, two years? I'm back for good, bitches. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Eyelid Primer to prime the eyelids. I love this stuff. Um, I never tried Morphe back home. And I tried Morphe recently, a few of their products, and uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. Pretty impressed with their eyeshadows. And this, I like this primer a lot. And the price point is like to die for. It's pretty damn good. So That's up. I'm gonna be taking my crease brush. And this is my crease brush from Sephora. I've had this for ages. It's my favorite. For the eyes, we're gonna be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I know it's like super dirty. I need to clean my vanity and my makeup on the ship. So this is like a really easy eye look. That's why it's my go-to everyday eye look. We're going to take this brown shade, and they have the names on the back, so I'm not going to look, though. just going to tell you guys what color I'm using. So I'm using this little brown here. And I'm going to work this into the crease. In a buffing motion. We're going to just blend this out for a bit. You know how it goes with makeup. You gotta blend, and if you don't, well, now you're learning. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's always good to have new people around. And we're gonna take this bone white shade right here. And we're going to place this onto the lids. Dust it off. It's a little chalky. Um, but you just do that and it's not chalky anymore. And you can just pack it onto the other lid. This kind of like brightens up the whole look. Especially if you look tired like I do every day because I don't sleep because my insomnia is just out of control. Now going back in with the crease brush, I'm going to blend out the edges of that white eyeshadow. So it looks blended and doesn't look like it was just kind of haphazardly placed. You can do winged eyeliner using the e.l.f. black gel liner. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite liners. And this is just a random angled brush. It's not really, I've had it for like a decade. Because what would it look be without winged eyeliner? I just like to take a little bit of product and I like to start here. And if I have to dip back in, that's fine, but I don't, I don't take a lot of product at a time because it's just stupid easier to add than it is to take away. So it doesn't look good, right? It's not finished. But I just like to like make a line. And then I'm going to make a line coming out really lightly. And then making another line at the, the most top point of the first line and bringing it down. And we're making kind of like a triangle. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you know we're gonna we're gonna fix it. There's ways to always fix um, mistakes. It's funny because I feel like when I do winged eyeliner, it can come out so good, but when I go to do it on camera, it looks like shit. Not saying that today. I'm just saying in general, it's just when you're trying to teach somebody something, it looks like shit. When you're just doing it mundanely throughout the the day, it looks great. So now that it's like a triangle, I'm going to kind of make a faint line so it kind of like wings out more and it's soft. So we're like very softly kind of making a line. Okay. And then I'm just going to continue fixing up where it needs to be more um, smoothed out, kind of just smoothing it out so it's not like, you don't want your winged eyeliner to look rigid. 
pretty good. And what I'm gonna do now is just, again, go back in with concealer and clean up the edges before we move on to foundation. Just take a very small amount of concealer. I feel like I have to burp. And then just clean up the edges like this, right? Because you don't wanna drag it upwards and fuck up your winged eyeliner. So you wanna drag it down. That's the, that's the key here, guys. Drag it down. All right. Now that we're done with that, it's time for foundation. And the foundation that I've been using lately is from Sally's. It's, I think, by the brand called Collab. And this is a pretty dark shade. It's Meet Your Matte Velvet Foundation, and it really is matte. It's full coverage. It's an olive 5.5. So the thing about this foundation is I couldn't swatch it because there was no way to swatch it. And I was like, I'm going to go with kind of a dark one because I self-tan. When I first put this on, it's going to shock you guys. You're going to be like, holy shit, that's not, that doesn't match at all. So when I highlight and everything, it comes together. Trust me, it looks scary at first. I'm warning you. But you'll see it comes together in the end. Right? So taking some on the Beauty Blender, I'm going to, see, it's dark. I told you guys. Bounce it all across the face. But I love this foundation a lot, and I'd probably get a little bit of a lighter shade next time. Um, cause it is a bit, it is a bit dark, but I just, I just make things work. The concealer, it's the same brand collab and this is in porcelain. So I'm going to conceal my under eye bags. And I only do my under eyes back in the day. I would do like this, this, nah. I don't waste my time with that ish anymore. I mentioned this beauty blender is dampened. I didn't mention that, I'm pretty sure. I dampened this with water before I started the tutorial so that I wouldn't have to get up during it and wet it because my bathroom's like outside my door. So yeah, this is not, I mean, you can tell it's not dry, but then again, if you're new to makeup, you wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, so now baking powder time. I've been loving the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. I actually have the one in Ghost as well, but I don't like it half as much as I like the banana one. So I just like to take some, usually on the back of my palettes is why they look like this. I usually take some product, dump it out. I take my dry beauty blender that I only use to use uh, to, to apply the baking powder because when I take a dampened beauty blender and try to get this powder, it kind of streaks and it doesn't really like stick on well. Do this. And it adheres so much more better and I, I don't know why. I don't have an answer. I just, I've used a dampened beauty blender to apply my baking powder and it just doesn't really sit that well. It gets all like streaky and shit and I'm not up for that mess. So again, Popping that right on, popping that right on in. You'll see me, what I do later. Cause I always have some residual left and with the residual, it goes everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna let that bake. And while that bakes, I go in and do my contour. So for my contour, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, which can you tell I love it? So I've hit pan. Um, I'm going to take my Real Techniques, and this is actually a dual fiber face brush, and I love to use it for contouring. So we're going to take this shade over here and take a little bit of product, dust it off right into the hollows. Working it this way and down. Um, the bronzer I'm going to be using is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. Taking some of that, and we're going to put it along the hairline. That's for sure. Bronze me up, baby. And I actually like to go over the contour with it a little bit, a little bit. And then kind of along the edges here. Let me get just here. So now I feel like it's sufficiently baked. So I just like to take the powder brush and remove it kind of gently. I don't go too crazy. 
Um, the main. All right. Highlighting time. I love the Anastasia Amrizi highlighter. Look at this. I've been using this. This is like my go-to. So I'm just going to grab a brush. I'm looking for one particular brush, but it's hiding. Oh, there it is. Highlighting fan brush from Sephora. I got this like ages ago. It's my go-to because I love this highlighter. This is my shit. I mean, honey, <laughs> do you see that? The glow up is real. A little bit on the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, a little bit on the chin, a lot of hair, and a little bit there. Now, taking the residual baking powder, I have baking powder all over my chest. I'm going to take some on the brush and go like, oh. And this is kind of like what I do to set my face. We can start doing the lashes. We can work our way to the lashes. So these lashes I've used quite a few times. I got these out of a vending machine. You can get these on Amazon, I believe. They're really cheap lashes. I actually got them out of a vending machine, like I said, at my strip club. They're just really nice lashes. Um, I've used them so many times and they still look pretty good. So I'm gonna clean them up a little bit and pull the glue off of them, the old glue. Wet and Wild Mega Volume. I'm going to do the lower lashes first. Jesus. Bam. They're so much easier to put on because they've already been put on. I let these dry and I'm going to actually straighten my hair and then I'm going to come back. But first, I am going to set my face with the Paola Dio Forever and Ever Makeup Setting Spray. And this has a dewy finish. So we're just going to do that and then straighten the hair, come back, do this and do the lips. And the look pretty much will be complete. Maybe add a little bit more highlight. So I'm going to spray. I'm going to fix up my liner because the lashes fucked it up a bit. So, again, I'm going to take the white that we placed on the lid and kind of clean up the lid a bit. Like that. And I'm also going to use this to highlight under the brows. Okay, the liquid lip by New Skin is called, it's the Power Lips Fluid, and this is in Persistence. You guys have been asking about, you know, my daily makeup look, and this is what I've been using for my lips. So, I love it. It's long wearing. I love the color, obviously. But I really like this brand a lot. I mean, it's good quality. So, I'll have a link to where you guys can purchase it. Straight from my sister-in-law if you're interested. Simple and easy. Thank you.